All right, so Ed Ludlow said news. Tesla cut its 40-person U.S. growth content team last night, including Alex Ingram, who started building the team out four months ago. This was part of Musk's early move on traditional advertising and placing Tesla content on other platforms here on X. And Nick Cruz Patain says, I'm not going to lie, Tesla could have done a better job with their ads. They were all way too generic and just contained recycled B-roll footage. So many great aspects to owning a Tesla, they should be highlighted more. And Elon said exactly. The ads were far too generic. They could have been any car. And I mean, I have to agree with with Nick and, and Elon here that the ads were really generic. It looked like they just went on Google ads and were just like, do we have any pictures of the Model 3? Yeah, we do. And then they put them there. I think they should go back to doing the um, remember they did the contest for commercials. We, we submitted one years yeah. ago. Why do you need 40 people to come up with very generic ads that just use B-roll? Right. And I also kind of think that people want a little bit more of a splashy, punchy ad. You have the advantage of having all of these car companies that haven't switched to electrics and you could just rake them over the coals. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? I mean, we were in an EV event the other day and someone said, why don't you just put up a big billboard that just shows the Model Y and mm. says, you know, $39,000 or whatever. Like, you don't need anything that complicated. The thing with the electric cars is that it's it's such a change. There's a lot of education that needs to come along with it. And the ad doesn't necessarily have to do that, but it does have to start them down that journey. I think the way to start them, honestly, is the price. I think so many people, if they know about Tesla, they think it's like a Bugatti. It's out of their price range. Mm -hmm. Just focus on price. Billboards that say Model Y, $40,000, will get people talking. It'll get them to go, wait, what? And they'll go to Tesla.com and they'll learn more. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's a blessing and a curse having this brand that everyone thinks is so expensive. I think so many people don't know about the different models. Like our Tesla eyeballs mm. can spot them, right, at a million miles. But most people see like, oh, that's just a Tesla. They don't know it's a Y or an X or a 3 or, you know, they right. just don't know how to differentiate. Obviously, the Cybertruck is different. <laughs> By the way, little kids get it. I mean, I love EV events because there were so many kids that are going around being like, that's an S, that's a Cybertruck. And their parents are like, what, what? <laughs> so maybe the ads should be structured <laughs> towards, towards kids. kids. <laughs> I mean, not that the kids really need it, but it'd be great. Like, hey, <laughs> go <laughs> get your mom. Maybe license like uh, Arthur and Dora the Explorer and put them in Teslas and kids <laughs> will get it even more. Yeah, kids aren't watching those shows anymore. <laughs> I dated myself. Yeah. Hey, if you like what we're talking about here, please hit the like button. It really helps share this with more people. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.